Hi, in this video we're going to look at creating your first PHP script and staying in the tradition of starting a new programming language with the hello world we're going to do that here. So in my editor I have a, a new file with just the basic HTML skeleton in here and I have it saved as first.php. So one thing to remember is any code that you have that is going to have PHP in it needs to have a PHP extension for the server to recognize that it needs to do something to process that PHP code. So my file is named first.php and then inside the body tags let's set up we have our um, PHP script tags so we have a less than symbol and a question mark and PHP and then I'm just gonna move down a few lines and my IDE automatically pops in the closing part of the PHP script tag so the question mark and the greater than symbol so that means that between this opening and closing script tag is where we're going to put in our valid PHP code. So I'm going to start with a simple echo statement. Echo and then inside double quotes I'm going to type in what it is I want to display on the screen. So we'll just do a simple hello world wide web. And then at the end of each of your PHP statements, you're going to end that with a semicolon. And that's kind of similar to like a period at the end of a sentence. So anything that's inside these PHP script tags has to be valid PHP code. And outside of it is HTML and CSS. So to test this, I'm going to save it and I'm just going to upload it to a web server. So let me pause this and I'm going to load this up to the server. Okay, so once I load it up to my server and I open my web browser and go to the page, you can see that it displayed the text on the web page. So let me go back to my code take a better look at this. So echo displays content out to the screen. Uh, you could also use a print. You may also see print and let's say something like about this is my first PHP program. And then again we'll end that with a semicolon. And then I'm going to save this and upload it to the server and then we'll take a look at the update. Okay, so I've uploaded it to the server and now I'm going to refresh my page and you can see that it added the second line right next to the other one. So one of the things that to be conscious of is that this is still being output as HTML. And um, actually if I do a quick view source on here you'll notice that the source code doesn't show any of the PHP tags, right? Because the server is processing your PHP script and outputting it back to the browser as HTML. So in order to make this look different on the page, we have to use some HTML and CSS. Let's go back to our code and we can do, we can embed inside our strings here some basic HTML. So let's make this a heading. So we can make heading one, and then maybe we'll make this um, paragraph tag. Right? So um, these are going inside the quotes, and this is a string. So the echo here is going to output this string. Uh, the print statement is going to output this string. Um, for many times you can 
kind of um, substitute echo and print and, and a little bit later we'll go over what the differences are because there are some slight differences between the two. So now if I save this and again I'm just going to upload it to my web server Okay, and again, I'm going to refresh my page so that you can see the change. And so now from here, you can see how the formatting is being applied just using some simple HTML structure tags. Okay, so let's look at some other ways to output information. So back in the code, I'm going to do an echo statement that has uh, quotes inside of it. So let's just say echo something like it is often said and now I'm going to put a, a quote in here. All right now I'm in my editor that I'm using um, you can see that it's underlining some errors in here. So that's another nice thing about an editor that lets you check your syntax as you go. What's happening here is the echo statement or if this was a print statement I would be getting the same error message. So we start with a double quote here and then this thinks that this is the end of the double quote for our echo or our print statement. Uh, and then it doesn't know how to treat the rest of this because like this is the end of the echo statement because it's the second quote. But this quote actually belongs to this text here. So we can escape it, which means we can tell it to take the next character literally and not interpret it as uh, the end quote for this statement. So escaping it is just putting in the backslash, right? And then you can see those error messages here disappear until it gets to this one. And so it thinks this quote right after pure is the end of the echo statement so we can escape that one right and now our error messages are gone and another nice thing about the color coding here is you know this kind of highlights here for you right that this is being escaped and escaping means that the compiler is just going to take that character literally and not try to use it as the matching quote for the opening on the echo. And as I said, uh, the print statement would work the same in here. So if I type this in as print instead, right, we, we still would have the same effect here. So that's always useful, especially when you start using some HTML inside your code and sometimes you know your HTML maybe a hyperlink or something will have the quotes in there and so you'll still want to include those but you can escape them using the backslash. Next how do we do comments in PHP? Right, often it's a good idea to keep comments in your code so that you can leave messages to yourself describing the structure and the logic and so that if you're working on uh, something with a team of people or even just another person um, or maybe be handing it off to uh, another developer to have some comments in there about what's happening in your code. And it can also be used for helping to debug your program and find problems. So there are a few ways to comment code. So one is, let's just say we wanted to comment out this line. So let's put in uh, two forward slashes at the beginning of the line and that comments out that entire line. Uh, another way that you can comment out is to use the pound sign or the hashtag symbol at the beginning of the line. I'm just going to take this back out and show you that we can also put comments at the end of a line and either one either of those techniques will work. I can put two forward slashes and say this is my comment uh, and I can also use the hashtag and put in a comment at the end of the line. 
So basically, whenever you use the two forward slashes or the hashtag, everything that follows it is going to be ignored by the compiler until it reaches the next line. We can also do what's called multi-line comments. So we could comment out several lines at one time. And to do that, we start uh, the beginning with a forward slash and an asterisk. And then you can see my editor here starts to comment out everything uh, until it gets to the end where we put in an asterisk and a forward slash. So everything in between is commented out. So sometimes you might want to block out a whole uh, several lines of code so that if you're trying to define maybe where you have an error going on in there or you wanted to take it out temporarily without having to copy and paste it or put in comments on every single line. So this is helpful to do it for doing a wide range of lines at one time. Um, so if I were to save this and upload it to my server, then the only thing that we should see is this last line where it's often said. So let me save this and upload it to the server and we'll test that out. Okay, so I've uploaded it to the server and now I'm going to refresh my page. And then you can see here the other lines that we commented out disappear. And then we just see our one line with our quote. So that's a quick overview of a beginning Hello World application. We learned how to use the print and the echo, as well as how to escape quotes, and also how to use commenting.